Hey YouTube, welcome back. So uh, today I'm going to uh, show you guys a tutorial on how to remove the rear bumper for your uh, MK5 or the RS32 uh, or uh, Passat or uh, Jetta. It should be similar. So anyway, you need to remove the cover for your spare tire and then the styrofoam the right side first and then the left side I have a video on how, tutorial on how to remove those and then uh, after that you need to pry this uh, center piece right here to open it up so by the way they have a metal clip sometimes it's going to break it off so mine's already broken so this one right there and then there's another fastener plastic on the bottom here. So I need to do that on both sides. And then after that, you need to lift it up upward. Oh wait, I forgot that's uh, another one in the midsection right here. Okay. There you go. And then now you could uh, push upward yeah I'm gonna use both hands but be careful the with the strip make sure you don't cut it or you're gonna rip okay yeah I'm gonna use that uh, both. <sighs> See the metal clip is st stuck in there and broken off from the plastic piece. And let me use uh, both hands. There are clips uh, down there. So I throw it on each side. There you go. Come up. So there are the white clips over there. That one's uh, broken off. And that one's broken off. So it might fall down there. I saw one there down here last time. That's just still there. Right there. Kinda hard to see. See that white thing? It fell down there. Within this hole. Even though if you pick up those uh, white clips or the fastener, it's not gonna work. See the bottom uh, right here, the plastic piece is already broken off, so unless you glue it back. So it's uh, over here. It's supposed to look like that. Alright, so after you taking out that piece, uh, I'm going to flat this uh, open. And uh, there's like a 10 millimeter nuts right here. Uh, bottom and then the uh, top. And uh, in order to disengage this uh, plug, you just need to pull out that blue, light blue uh, plug or the block backward, okay? And then you can pull out the plug. So I use this uh, prying tool, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, and use my other hand to uh, pull out the plug at the same time, and all of a sudden it's just going to pop out, okay? And these are the two at the 10 million nut for your uh, signal light housing. Okay, turn signal, one here, one there. And then uh, now you can remove the tail, tail light, signal light, whatever. And then now you reveal the, those uh, two screws 
Those are the torques. I believe those are 20. Check. Nope, this is not 20. All right, so those are torques are 30, okay? For the top two. Yeah, be sure to get your Torx uh, set. I got this set on uh, eBay, so it was a pretty good deal. So, and then uh, you're gonna do the same on the passenger side. Get it out. Take out the one, two. Okay. The 10 millimeter bowl again. And then unplug that. All right, with this one, I need to use uh, this ratchet wrench, okay, to get it out, because uh, this is a uh, tight space right here. And after I loosen that, I can use a uh, by hand. Because if I use a ratchet, there's not enough room right here. I can use it for the top one, okay. Loosen it up. And be sure to disengage that plug. This is a stronger prime tool. There you go. And now I get pull out straight. If I don't drop it. Yeah, I'm gonna use both hands because I'm gonna drop it. So there are like uh, two at the clip or maybe the sticky stuff. Three of them. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. And then you gotta remove those uh, two at the Torx uh, screw again. Pretty long. So we're, we're gonna leave one over here and then the other side. We don't want the whole bumper to fall off. All right, so we're gonna be on the driver's size bumper right here. There's a T20 right there. And then a T20 bolt right there. Okay. Inner uh, tire firewall right there, one. Uh, two. Three, and then there are some on the bottom right here, okay? So this is the one that's uh, coming in from the fender liner right here, okay? So this one, the one that's uh, between this uh, bumper and the fender liner right here, it's pretty uh, different angle to get it out, okay? Okay, the one that's uh, connected to the Bumper and then fender, or the quarter panel. The head is uh, less, it's uh, smaller compared to the one uh, the fender liner. And then the thread is different too, so. All right, so we, over here at the driver's size, 
the bottom bumper is another T20 right here okay all right so this is a scooter that came out from there now I'm gonna move to the exhaust pipe and then uh, under there there's another uh, T20 right here okay and we need to remove Oh wait, this one's not T20. All right, the one down next to the exhaust is a T25, okay? I'm not sure why they do that. Now we can just more work for us, okay? This is a T25, the screw is longer and uh, different. All right, so we're gonna move to the right. There's another, uh, T25 right here. T20, so we gotta switch the bit. So I'm gonna go into the Fender, Fender liner, okay, yeah. hard to see, it's all dirty. I'm just gonna loosen up. Now we can try to pry out. You gotta be careful, and I'm gonna remove this uh, T30 bolt. I was gonna get stuck in here. Okay, now I can pry out the bumper. It's like a clip and stuff like that, but you gotta make sure you pry slowly. You don't wanna break up anything, okay? Oh, there you go. So I'm gonna remove the other T30 over there and make sure the whole bumper doesn't fall off. So I gotta use uh, both of my hand now. So I'm gonna wait. Let me see. You gotta be careful because there's a license plate light. It's not disengaged yet or unplugged. Let's see if I could lift this light. There you go, okay. I think there might be a styrofoam right there. Oops. 
you see, uh, there's a license plate light right here. Okay. Very disconnected. Oh, so here's a connector right here. So I unplug the license plate uh, cable so I get uh, more leverage. Try to figure out how to unplug this. Okay. Push this button and then get it out. That's it. So in order to remove this uh, cable, just uh, pry out the clip, the metal clip upward. Why you try to yank out the cable out? Okay. And the license plate, those are uh, easy to pop out. You gotta do it from the outside. Actually, there's a metal tab right here. You push in, and then to get it out. So it's on this side, right here. Give you like an idea, okay? Plastic tab right here. Then you need to, because right now it's uh, fit in there tight. So you gotta press it and then Get it out. So yeah, get, get get it out like that. Okay. This is the locking tab right here. By the way, you could only uh, push it from the inside out. Okay, in order to disengage it, the you could only access the outside with the, those uh, two uh, screw to change the bulb. That's it. So in order to change the whole uh, housing, you gotta do it from the inside at the bumper. All right, so I had to use this uh, long, thin needle nose plier to grab it and push in. Now it's pop out. As you can see, this one too, okay? So I need to disconnect it and then unplug it. I was gonna come out. Uh, so in order to disengage this, all you need to do is uh, press this uh, button, pull it backward or outward, and then you're going to disengage, okay? Well, there you go. Anyway, this is how you to uh, remove your uh, rear bumper and also your uh, license plate uh, light in case uh, my wire is broken, so I need to get this uh, whole wiring. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification, or uh, drop any other comments on below. And thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. Like always, peace.